guys, Brian with Workshop Addict. I'm over at a buddy's house and I'm helping him kind of clean up some of his electrical situation that he's got going here. He's got an electrical panel that was added to, kind of put together in a messy situation. So I took advantage of it and I went out and picked up a new tool for a little bit of safety. This is Klein's NCVT-3, it's a non-contact voltage tester. And I picked it up because it has a few toughness ratings and also it's easy to use and has some LED features that I liked. First, uh, to start off, some of these are powered internally with batteries that you can't change. Some of them you can you know, replace when needed. This is run by two AAA batteries. It's also dust and waterproof. So everything in here, including this cap, is got an O-ring around it so no water can get in. You can drop it from six feet. So you can throw it in your electrical bag, put it in the truck, not worry about this thing becoming broke if a tool lands on it or if that bag happens to get dropped. Now this tool has a sensitivity level from 12 to 1,000 volts. And the LED meter on it gives you kind of a proximity sensor but also tells you the voltage that you're looking at if it's high or low voltage. So the, uh, the two yellow lines in there will usually work and tell you, hey, this is lower voltage. Once you get into the red, it tells you that you're higher voltage. But it also works like if you're working with 110 like we have behind us, it tells you as a proximity as to how close you are to the actual line. So very cool tool. I really like this, like most Klein tools out there, they're very high in quality. So this box, is, is I'd like to use this as an example of what never to do, because when you got to get your hands in here, you really don't know what you're touching. Um, but to give you an idea of how this tool works, we first turn it on, we get some, a blue LED light knowing that the power's on in this tool. And uh, I'm looking at some of their 220 you can hear that the tool goes really loud in just a constant beep when it's close. And it beeps slowly as you get closer. And if I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, LEDs light up into red as you get closer to it. We found in here that we've got some commons that were powered, unfortunately. And we haven't found any grounds, but we do have electrical boxes that are actually in and the grounds aren't hooked up. So we're going through and doing a lot of work to this. Um, as a suggestion, if you're ever wiring anything, keep your grounds and your commons separated and keep your, your uh, hot wires coming in so that everything is neat. If you ever have to get into it again and work on it, you don't want to be worrying about what wires you're touching. Uh, also, in your shop, try to label some of your outlets so that you know what breaker it is. If you blow a breaker and you're with multiple people, you can always say to somebody, hey, this is breaker 16, or that's breaker 18, or if it's 220, label them both. If, you're, if it's not just somebody else, or if it's just you, you still can walk over to that panel, look exactly on the panel, know exactly what um, plug you're looking at, and you don't have to deal with a mess like this. Just not cool. So if you're out looking for something that's uh, safety is a voltage tester. Check this out. This is a very cool little tool. Got some great features on it. Um, and also, if you're going to wire something up, think about taking the extra time to make it really neat. It's a lot more safe to work on something that's neat instead of a cluttered mess like this, and it's a lot easier to add on to it afterwards. Label everything. Make sure that guys like me who are not electrician, if we're coming in to help or if we're helping you work on it or you're working on it yourself, everybody knows what's going on. It's a lot more safe and a lot easier to work on. Thanks for your time today watching this video. Stop over at our forum at workshopaddict.com. Leave us some comments in the bottom. Check out Klein's tool and have a great day.